the world's largest car maker is about to expand its offer even more and tackle one of the rare segments it still doesn't participate in. In this video, we are talking about the all-new Toyota Stout, a model that will have all it needs to obliterate unibody pickups like Ford Maverick and Hyundai Santa Cruz. This one will have all it takes to become an absolute class leader. Toyota Stout Overview First of all, this won't be the first time to see Toyota using the Stout nameplate. No, the company already had a pickup truck back in the 1950s with this name, and it represents one of the most important pickup models in the company's lineup, because it created a path for the following models, particularly for the iconic Hilux, which is still the most famous pickup Toyota sells around the world. The original Stout was a small pickup. The new model won't be any different. It will compete with other compact pickups on the market, and just like the Maverick and Santa Cruz, it will ride on a unibody platform with a crossover-based design. So what is going to make this pickup so special? Well, besides the company's unparalleled reliability, this pickup will offer several more advantages over the competition. It will be more maneuverable, a better off-roader, and with superior fuel economy. Moreover, this could be easily the cheapest model in the class. With the starting price of around $23,000, according to some sources, in other words, it may have all it takes to become a bestseller. Toyota Stout Design Of course, let's start with the base design characteristics. First of all, a few words about the platform, because things are yet to be disclosed in this aspect. At the moment, there are two possibilities for the new pickup. In both cases, we are talking about the Unibody TNGA platform, and while some sources suggest the GAK version, which is the one that underpins models like the RAV4, others speculate about the GAC version of the platform, which underpins models like the Corolla Cross or Prius. In our humble opinion, the GAC seems like a more appropriate choice, considering the expectations in terms of price. The new pickup will be compact, simple, and easy to maintain, and that is what a GAC platform provides. Moreover, it also opens up a wider range of possibilities when it comes to powertrain options, which we will talk about in a moment. But first, let's discuss the size and proportions of the pickup. Exterior Dimensions the new Stout will compete in the class of compact pickups, but that doesn't mean it's easy to predict the exact measurements at the moment, because there are sources that suggest a little bit smaller size compared to the key rivals, Maverick and Santa Cruz. Namely, these two may be compact pickups, but they are not small. No, they feature pretty respectable dimensions, with over 120 inches of wheelbases and total lengths that go pretty close to 200 inches. In other words, they are not particularly maneuverable and easy to drive. So Toyota might go in that direction and offer something smaller. Once again, this leads us up to the GAC platform and Corolla Cross, which is expected to be the closest relative of the new pickup. That small crossover features just about 104 inches between the axles, so we presume the wheelbase is going to be stretched a bit, though nowhere near the aforementioned 120 inches. We estimate something around 110 inches, which will, along with the shorter overall length, make this pickup easier to maneuver in tight spaces. Exterior Design As for the aesthetics, it's still early for details, but it all indicates that even if Corolla Cross becomes the main donor of parts, the styling will be significantly different. It looks like Toyota wants to stand out in this way because both rivals have been criticized for their appearance. The Maverick is usually seen as a dull-looking pickup, while the Santa Cruz goes in the opposite direction and seems over-designed for a vehicle of this type. So, Toyota wants to offer something better, something that will easily stand out from the class. Therefore, all those amazing digital renders on the internet don't surprise. They all go in the same direction, showing an attractive modern design and a nice blend of ruggedness and retro details. Most renderings feature the same front-end design as in the Compact Cruiser EV prototype, but we can also find a lot of resemblance with the recently introduced Land Cruiser 250. So we wouldn't be surprised if this small pickup also comes with different front-end designs on offer, as the iconic off-roader did. As for the rest of the vehicle, we expect typical pickup truck proportions. A double cab version seems like a safe pick, considering that small pickups are rather seen as family haulers than work machines. With that in mind, as well as the aforementioned overall size, it's pretty clear that the cargo bed will most likely be shorter compared to Maverick and Santa Cruz, which are good for about 4.5 and 4.3 feet, respectively. Toyota Stout Powertrain This might be the most interesting part of the new pickup, Considering that Toyota has so many things to offer in this aspect, as mentioned, most sources suggest a very affordable starting price, maybe already at around $23,000. 
And with that in mind, it's easy to conclude that this refers to a gasoline version. This brings us back to the GAC platform and its ranges of engines, which also includes a 2.0 liter naturally aspirated inline four unit with around 170 horsepower. That engine is simple, reliable, and affordable, which seems like a perfect fit for Stout. Still, that's not Stout's key trump. No, that would be a hybrid powertrain. These days, we are witnessing a pretty impressive growth of hybrid vehicles in North America, which completely outshines EVs at the moment. And as the world's leader in hybrid technology, Toyota has to offer an electrified Stout. And with the smaller GAC platform, this leads to a pretty capable but extremely efficient setup. The same one you can find in the new Prius, for example. That system is based on a 2.0 liter inline four engine and delivers a total output of 196 horsepower, which is actually a few horsepower more compared to the Maverick Hybrid. But the key advantage over Ford's hybrid pickup won't be the additional power, but rather a better fuel economy, which is expected to go way over 40 miles per gallon combined. For comparison, the Maverick returns about 42 miles per gallon in the city and 33 miles per gallon on the highway. That's not all. With this platform, there is also a possibility to see a plug-in hybrid setup, based on the same engine with a bigger battery and more capable electric motors. This system puts out around 220 horsepower in Prius, but could be tuned a bit for this occasion. Still, the most impressive thing about it would be the ability of daily commuting solely on electric power. The Prius can make 44 miles in the EV modes, so Stout's distance shouldn't be significantly shorter either. What do you think about these impressive fuel economy figures? Can models like the Toyota Stout Hybrid completely change the paradigm in the pickup universe? Write in the comments and don't forget to subscribe, because more previews are coming off-road performance. No one expects small unibody pickups to be as capable as, let's say, Gladiator Rubicon, but somehow, we feel that some of the pickup makers could have done more in this aspect. While Ford does offer a pretty capable Tremor off-road package for the Maverick, with a locking rear differential and upgraded suspension, the Santa Cruz doesn't have a dedicated off-road version. Also, keep in mind that with Maverick, that off-road package is only available with the Turbo 4 engine. For some reason, that's not the case with the hybrid, which is still available only in a front-wheel drive setup. With Toyota Stout, that won't be the case. While the gas-powered version may come as a more conventional off-roader, with a locking differential and similar things, expectations from the hybrid version are particularly big. Unlike Ford, Toyota will offer an all-wheel drive version of its hybrid pickup, in the way that there will be another electric motor mounted on the rear axle. Besides improved traction, this version will come with all other kinds of off-road upgrades, like we already learned from the RAV4 hybrid, which received the so-called Woodland Edition relatively recently. That model comes with a TRD-tuned suspension, better tires, roof rails, and other various upgrades that accentuate the model's off-road character. Interior Design Finally, a few words about the interior design. As mentioned, the new Toyota Stout is expected to be the most affordable pickup in the class and, therefore, we might see some compromises in terms of interior quality. The idea is to save production costs and make the new pickup super affordable, and the easiest way is to save on interior quality. In other words, we don't believe that Toyota engineers will be putting too much focus on things like the dashboard design which will most likely look the same as in the aforementioned Corolla Cross, maybe with a little bit more extensive use of plastics and other cheap materials. On the other hand, we don't believe that the new pickup is going to lack any modern tech features. We count on a decently sized infotainment screen, all kinds of connectivity features, etc. As for safety systems, there's a possibility to see the new Safety Sense 3.0 suite, but in order to keep production costs low, the new Stout may remain equipped with the 2.5 version of this group of advanced driver assist features. As for passenger space, a double cab version seems like a certain thing, as we already mentioned. In that case, we expect to see four full-size doors and enough space for at least two adults in the second row but there are also rumors about a single or extended cab version, which would be designed to cater to the needs of farmers, contractors, small businesses, etc. That model would compromise on the rear passenger space, but would offer a slightly longer cargo bed. At the moment, the officials are still quiet about potential body styles. Release date and price. If we can trust unofficial reports, the new Toyota Stout could arrive already by the end of this year. As for the price, some sources speculate about $23,000 for base versions. Officials are yet to confirm or dismiss these claims. 
What do you think about the new Toyota Stout? Could this be the best small pickup around? Does it have everything it needs to beat the Maverick? Let us know what you think in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.